get you the help that you need. Five, four, this is going to be a changing day in your life. Go, Dr. Phil. How are you? Hey, guys. Well, now, I know, thank you very much. I know you've heard this before. Maybe you've even said it. My mom cannot stand my boyfriend. Well, the hate goes a whole lot deeper today and for a far more serious reason. Michelle refuses to even meet her daughter Melinda's boyfriend. She won't talk to him, can't even say his name. Why? Well, because she is dating a registered sex offender. Now, he says, look, I was just a child at the time. He hates being labeled as a sex offender. He's 26 now. He says he is living the straight and narrow. But Mom Michelle, well, she's scared because Melinda has a four-year-old daughter, and it was a young girl that he offended against. She's convinced this man is not even almost reformed. Take a look. My daughter Melinda is dating a registered sex offender, and I'm totally disgusted. That thing that my daughter chooses to date, I cannot refer to by name. It is true that I do refer to it as it. I honestly believe that the it is pursuing my daughter to get to my granddaughter. In my honest opinion, once a sex offender, always a sex offender. Without my daughter dating a registered sex offender, I am absolutely 100% without a doubt. Even if Dr. Ville tried to convince me himself that I was wrong, I am not wrong. Not wrong. Not. If you want to join our conversation today, you can tweet us at Dr. Phil hashtag boyfriend. You can do that right now and be part of this show. And trust me, I'm sure many of you will agree that Michelle has the right to be concerned. Do you feel, and we're referring to him as Jack, do, do you feel that he's trying to hurt your granddaughter? Absolutely. You already think this. Absolutely. Not just that he is a potential risk, you think he is an active risk. Yes. I feel he's grooming my daughter to get her so wrapped up in his that his eye, that's all he's looking at. The end result is I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna have this. What's your daughter say about this? I mean, if, if her, priority is her daughter and her daughter's safety, if why does she say she's not concerned? Obviously to me, my granddaughter is not her priority and she's not looking out for her safety. Right. The risk is there. How can you assure me that he's not touching my granddaughter? You can't possibly tell me that this four-year-old granddaughter of mine who sleeps with her mother or somebody seven days a week is not crawling in bed with that creep and my daughter. You, you, you don't say his name. In fact, you've got a list of names for him. You call him bleep, it, scumbag, pedophile, rapist, child molester, nameless, worthless, <laughs> creep, disgusting pig. You call him that piece of <laughs> that thing you're seeing. So you have no respect, no Absolutely regard not. for this individual in any way. No. Have you met him? Absolutely not, because it would be violent. Well, Melinda says the real issue is not her boyfriend. It's her mother's absolute total need to dominate, control, and dictate every aspect of her life. Take a look. I don't feel that my boyfriend should be on the sex offender registry. He was just a kid. I have a connection with him that I feel my mom would never understand. I trust him with all my heart. I just don't get that vibe from him that he would ever harm anyone intentionally. My family keeps asking me to choose between him and them, and I keep telling them that it's everybody or nobody. I want my mom to know that I do love him, and he loves me. We're not breaking up. There's just no way. 